Hello guys, we're back in the middle of my dorm room. Uh, not a whole lot of great places to film in college. If you hear background noise like that, just ignore it. We're going to be talking about the Mariners today, obviously. Uh, the big problem, George Kirby. What happened to George Kirby? His last five games... He's gone 27 innings and allowed 18 earned runs. If you're not a mathematician, I'm not a mathematician either, but I went to the eracalculator.org. In his last five games, George Kirby has an ERA of six. So pretty much in his last five games, George Kirby has been one of the worst pitchers in the, uh, not only just the American League, one of the worst pitchers in the MLB. And this is a guy who is supposed to be your second ace. Now it helps Logan Gilbert's been pitching well. It helps that the bullpen has been doing okay. And it helps that Castillo has been absolutely incredible for the past two months. But it is still not good when you are two weeks out from the playoffs and your second best pitcher is pitching like he doesn't like he's pitching like he's gassed. And he admitted it in the last game. Now obviously he had that the controversial remarks about not wanting to go in the seventh inning, not feeling like he could go in the seventh inning. So obviously that's not great to hear. Um, but you just you need to see more from your ace. The other problem today, bottom of the order, just wasn't good. We had we were down four to three in the sixth inning, two outs, two on. Dylan Moore comes in, pinch hitting for Canzone, who was 0 for 2. And what does Dylan Moore do? He strikes out to end the inning. Then in the eighth inning, same exact scenario, two outs, two on, down five to three. And instead of Dylan Moore, we decided to pinch hit Mike Ford. And again, what does Mike Ford do? He strikes out to end the inning. Striking out to end the inning is not what we need. We need guys who can come up to the plate and get clutch at-bats. That's what guys like Marlo and Canzone and Rojas and Demo and Caballero and Mike Ford used to do. They used to be able to do that. Now none of them are doing that. It's like the entire bench and bottom of the order decided they were all going to go on a collective slump at the same time. And this is the worst possible time for them to be slumping. So that's definitely not what we want to see. Uh, by the way, Canzone has been awful lately. Um... Yeah, just ignore all the noise. Sorry about that, guys. Nothing I can do about it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just been it's been a struggle for our bottom of the order hitters. Good news, Ty France did reach base twice today. That's great. You'd love to see that. And um, Eugenio Suarez, he hits a home run. He's up to 21 now in the season. And Jared Kelnick, he gets two hits today. He's he, uh, I believe he has like a 9 or 10 game hitting streak. So he's been good um, since he returned. He has been good. Um, which is obviously good to see, getting on base twice. You love to see it from a guy like Jared, who needs to get going. Um, he was hitting sixth today, but even still, just wasn't enough to put the Mariners over the top, and we lose 6-3. to three. So here's what, what, what matters, right? Toronto, they won. They beat the Red Sox, so they are now a half game behind us for that last wildcard spot. So we are still, you know, we are not in the clear yet by any means. We still have to keep on winning baseball games. Anyone who thinks the Mariners have locked down the playoff spot are wrong. We need to keep winning baseball games if we want to get there. Number two, the Astros and Rangers both lost tonight. That is huge for us because it means we are still only one and a half games behind Houston. But the problem is we still have to play the Dodgers two more times, and we know the Dodgers are a really good baseball team. So in my opinion, I would love to see us win one of these next two games. I believe in us. I think we can win tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not going to say we can win both, but I think if we take one game against the Dodgers, then I will be okay with that. And then we play the A's next, and we pretty much have to sweep the A's. Because the A's, I mean, you have no room for error when you're playing a team as bad as the Oakland Athletics. So, uh, what happens if we do get swept by the Dodgers? What happened if we do lose a game to the A's? Well, in that case, then we're going to have to start panicking about the season possibly not making the playoffs and not going the way we want. So, that's ultimately, you know, what's happening right now for the Mariners. We have to keep winning. We have to keep getting games. And George Kirby needs to go back to being George Kirby. So anyways, guys, let me know down below what do you think about tonight's game. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, and hopefully, you know, the Mariners will win tomorrow and, uh, and bounce back strong. But from that, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.